Do you feel there has been a personal vendetta with you? No question about it. Absolutely. I don't know for what reason, but he told me that he was going to get me. I think he's tried to ruin, you know, the latter part of my career, tried to devalue me. I think he's trying to stop me from going to the Hall of Fame. It, it's been difficult. I've um, tried several different private ways to get my, my behind thrown out of there, but it hasn't worked. Marcus uh, was an unrestricted free agent in 1993, uh, and he uh, was looking for a team. He also was watching what we were doing, and, and I kind of knew that when I traded for Joe and we got him, that this really made an impact on Marcus. Uh, he called me, he said, I will tell you uh, two reasons that I, I want to come and play for the Chiefs. He said, number one is I get to play against the Raiders and Al Davis twice a year, <laughs> which I knew. And then he said, the other thing is, I've always wanted to play with Joe Montana, and you just made a great trade. There's no question that Marcus brought another element to the rivalry. Uh, Al Davis basically benched him for four years. Well, all he really did was extend Marcus's career for four more years. I'm sure you could write a good melodrama about how that happened, but the simplistic view from Kansas City was Bo Jackson, who was helping the Royals, decided that baseball wasn't enough. And then of all the damn places to play football, he's gonna play for the Raiders. And suddenly Marcus Allen, this future Hall of Famer, is on the outs. Where better to go if you wanna get back at Al Davis than go to Kansas City? You know, Marcus found a kindred spirit in Marty about the depths of dislike for the Raider organization, how important Raider Week was. Marcus really brought that, I think, to a forefront. One play at a time. I know. All right. That game was the equivalent to Marcus Allen of the Super Bowl. Marty knew this, and he was going to feed Marcus Allen the ball absolutely as much as he could. Marcus Allen, <laughs> how many superlatives do you have to describe how he's produced against his uh, former team that did not want him? I imagine that Marcus Allen will be congratulated by a lot of his former teammates from the Raiders. He's still close to many. They appreciate the job that he's done. It was the Raiders, it was the rivalry, and they really disliked Al Davis a lot. Most people knew that Marcus wasn't happy with what happened with him and the Raiders organization, but Marcus never really brought it up to us. He didn't really want us to draw attention and play for him, but that changed when the game started. Marcus was an intense guy as it was. Marcus Allen, touchdown, Marcus Allen! Well, that was pure Marcus Allen. But I never saw a guy get in more faces. He was all over him, talking more trash than anybody during those games. And he just wanted to crush Al Davis, and he wanted to crush the Raiders. The players for Oakland respected Marcus. He was one of them. But I think Marcus basically played all those games looking at it a guy trying to tackle him and seeing Al Davis' face. Right up the middle, touchdown! Marcus Allen was probably a guy that a lot of people in this organization really liked because he was sideways with Al Davis before he got out of Raider black and silver. They had the guy that Al Davis seemed to be the most angry with, so giving that guy a chance to go out and succeed and rub it in Al Davis' face, I think Marty and certainly Marcus Allen reveled in doing it. I saw his face after a couple of those games in uh, I think he enjoyed those games as much as any he played in his whole life. Since you said it all, we're going to keep this brief. We just simply say thank you. 13 to be Mark. Yeah! That's one of the great things about one of the great rivalries in the NFL. Playing Al Davis was like a playoff game, and that's one of the things that makes a great rivalry, pure hatred of another guy. <laughs> 